guys it's Pat's Tech here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to overclock a graphics card so basically what that does is um, boost your graphics card ma past max frequency so basically that makes it so it's a, lot, a little bit faster than what you would normally get out of it at the expense of thermals and voltage so first what you're going to need is MSI Afterburner this is the tool to do it so how to get that is you download from the link in the description, you'll get this file, neck, open it, and then you go through the windows thing, and then you press OK, next, accept this, and then what you want to do is get MSI Afterburner, you have to make sure that's clicked, and Reva Tuner, you don't need Reva Tuner, but it adds an overlay to your games so you can see how, how much resources you're using in your frame rate and such. And then your install directory next and then you press install I already have this so I won't need to do that okay and first thing you want to do is get a baseline measurement of what your computer can do so what this computer can do I'll go into my documents folder 3d mark show you how to overclock. Okay, so first what you want to do is get a stress test. So for that I'm going to be using Unigen Heaven. So the link will be in the description. The way to install that is completely free. So you want to press this, press the Windows thing next, accept, do your username, your install directory, next, and then it'll install. Okay, so you want to open that, and I will be using a GTX 1060 for this, so I'm going to max this out and run it in windowed mode. What this will do is just show, like, make sure everything's working with the clock speeds that you use. While that's loading, I'm going to open up MSI Afterburner, and this is what it looks like. So for this, you, what you want to do is max out the power and the temp limit. That will actually increase the amount of power that it can use and the temperature it'll go before it thermal throttles. And these are the dials you want to use. So first off you want to boost your core clock until it crashes. And this may crash your computer so watch out. And once you uh, do that, so I know this will go up to 250. So I'm going to press check. And what you want to look at is the graphics and see if anything's messing up or if there's any artifacting which this looks fine because I know this graphics card will go up to 250 so I'll keep it at 235 just to be safe and then memory you want to do the same exact thing until it crashes just slowly at a time and once you once it starts crashing you lower it down about 10 at a time until it stops crashing so for this one I'm going to type in 300 okay and then press check and there you go. It will actually, and I can see there's no artifacting or anything messing up in in the uh, videos here, so that works. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through. I'm gonna show you guys um, 3D Mark. So this is a good way to benchmark your GPU, so that you know how fast it is and how fast your computer is overall for like gaming and stuff. So for this, I don't have an absolutely crazy computer, so I'm not going to do Time Spy. I could, but it'll one run, but really low FPS. So I'm going to do uh, let me let me do SkyDriver and run. This is pretty cool. Okay, so it's going to load. Loading, 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 loading. Come on. OK. 
Okay, so I'm just going to go through this one and show you guys what 3D Mark is and what it does. And basically after this, it'll just give you a score in your average frame rate. And my average frame rate on this one is absolutely crazy. It's about 200 frames, which is really good. But this is a benchmark for medium end computers, which mine is slightly high end. It's pretty good. So let me lo let this load and then I'll show you guys what it is. I'm probably going to speed this up if it takes a while. So, here what the, this is Revit, so you can view and everything. You can put settings for what you want to display. As you can see right here, I'm getting about 150 FPS while recording, which is pretty good. So I'm just going to exit this, and I'm going to show you what the Ruby Tuner does. Okay. So, that is the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, have a good day. Like and subscribe for more. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.